what's up guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to cover how you can save your autocad sheet in a pdf format so everyone doesn't have an autocad so if you want to show your final work to your boss or your colleague or you're a student and you want to show your final work to your uh, teacher uh, in that case you've got to save it in a format which even they can see so in this video we'll cover how to save your autocad sheet in a pdf format or a jpeg format and in this video i'll also cover how you can uh, arrange your sheet so you can get uh, the best view for your printout so before we get started please like share and comment all my youtube videos and also subscribe to my youtube channel your support means a lot to me so without further ado let's get started so i've just pulled up a random sheet which i had made previously so let me just save this uh, in a pdf format so the easiest way to do it is uh, go ahead and press ctrl p and uh, you can go ahead and in the printer or the plotter section you can the select the name as microsoft print to pdf so basically your file would be saved in a pdf format paper size you can go ahead and select whatever you want let's say i want any three size then uh, always remember to uh, always remember to check the fit to paper and center your plot then uh, click on apply to layouts and then on preview okay so this looks good but you can as you can see there is a lot of vacant space in the left hand side top side right hand side and even in the bottom so let's try to get rid of it L uh, i'll press the escape key and uh, yeah in the in the plot area where it is written what to plot uh, it is already selected display so i'll uh, i'll click on it and select extends again click on apply and then preview okay so this looks much better uh, let me click on escape so if you would have seen some uh, autocad sheets uh, previously you would have uh, there is basically a title box over here which basically represents uh, who's drawn this sheet for uh, whom this sheet is being drawn that is your client's name then type of projection first angle or third angle projection you've used uh, the date of plotting and all those details so you want to have that title block so how to get the title block right uh, the easiest way is uh, to use the layout features in autocad so this is the layout feature but uh, the preloaded file doesn't have uh, a title block so what we'll do is we'll import some uh, preloaded files right click on the layout part and uh, go ahead and select from template so autocad all uh, gives you a lot of uh, pre-built templates you can choose from any one which you like uh, i like this one the second last one so let me click on it and uh, click on open click ok select this iso a1 layout click on ok so now we are having another uh, layout part previously it was layout 1 and layout 2 now i'm uh, now i'm having iso a1 layout so if i click on it uh, you'll see that the, right now the sheet is blank so i want to import my model into this sheet so i can save it in a pdf format to do that i have to use command viewports v i e w p o r t s then press enter uh, select the single uh, viewport and uh, click on ok now you've got to select the specify the first corner and the last corner basically the corner between which your design has to be so uh, i'll select the first and last corner and uh, there it is you'll have the entire design uh, automatically imported in this sheet and uh, now what you can do is you can just uh, change all these details like designed by double click on the xxx marks and just change the name let me put j and uh, checked by you can put another name approved by you can play put the date then uh, yeah, you get right what i'm saying uh, let's say that you want to save this in a pdf format so that you can share it with your colleagues again control p go ahead and select dwg to pdf also you can uh, save this in a jpeg format or a png format also so remember it for this instance let me select dwg to pdf then select the paper size let me select uh, um, iso a1 841 mm by 594 mm 
fit to paper center the plot apply to layout preview okay, so this looks better but still there is a lot of vacant space on the uh, on the corner so if i want to get rid of that that too we can do uh, for that you've got to select uh, the windows part in the plot area section select window and just select uh, the area which you want in your autocad sheet so i only want this much area from uh, basically this point to this point i don't want all the white area which is after that so i'll select only that much path then click on the windows less than now again select the same area apply to layout preview so you can see there is a little bit of difference but still uh, the difference isn't that major but you're getting the picture right you've got to select the windows uh, feature and then in the less than windows tab also you have got to select the same rectangle which you have selected previously or uh, if you ask me go ahead and use the extend extend feature only uh, it will get your job done so press enter and uh, click on okay so now you can give your uh, autocad file name and select save it as a pdf format let me save it in desktop save okay Mm, so now it's done it ha huh. so this is a saved version of the file it looks good so that's it for today guys please subscribe to my youtube channel and like comment and share all my youtube videos and help me reach my first 1000 subscribers if you are new to autocad and want to learn uh, the basics of autocad i have made a good 40 minutes video which will help you to get started with your autocad skills it is uh, the link is down in the description please check it out thank you for watching thank you guys